Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Go ahead and like the page, share the page with your family and friends so they can get this very important information about infertility. Today, we're going to talk about some of the male causes of infertility, especially the reduced sperm quality as well as quantity, right? So what would impact those types of things? First, we got to look at oxidative stress. What causes abnormal stresses to our systems where you can't produce the quality or quantity of the sperms? Drugs, chemicals, smoking, anything really that causes increased stress to our system can impact the quality and quantity. Medications, also medications, seizure medication, antidepressants, right? There is a whole list of different types of medications. What it really means is that medications um, used in excessive amounts or in combination of uh, multiple medications can reduce the quality and quantity of sperm production. Infection. Sometimes people have prostatitis, inflammation of the prostate, or they have a urinary tract infection that was not uh, taken care of, or they might have a STD, which is not taken care of. So when you have issues with the prostate, infection can certainly play a part in the quantity and quality of the uh, sperm. Autoimmune disease. So there is a condition where your body can produce antibodies or attack the sperm and kill it off. So there's antibodies to sperm, as well as testicular tissue antibodies. You need to check for those if you ruled out pretty much everything else. Do we have an autoimmune condition that's affecting the production of sperm? Endocrine disorders, which affect LH, FSH, testosterone, right? When men get overweight and they gain a lot of central adiposity, right, around the waist, their belly fat will start to convert testosterone to estrogen, right? It's aromatizing testosterone to estrogens. So they become more female-like. If that happens, you're, not, you're going to impact sperm production, right? So endocrine disorders can be related to just the fact that you're obese, right? It's very important to address those uh, metabolic factors. Things like diabetes and so forth can also do that. And then you have red blood cell disorders, sickle cell anemia, um, hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis is actually more common than people think. Um, and it impacts iron stores, right? So if you have issues with iron uh, and iron storage, then it can impact blood pressure, it can impact um, diabetes, it can impact a, a cascade of different health conditions. So it's in, in, important to make sure to check for iron or elevation of iron and elevation of ferritin in the blood uh, for men. So you have to look at blood disorders because when this happens, you're having circulatory issues. You can't get enough oxygenation to certain tissues. So. When we look at the overall picture, you gotta look at stress, medication, infections, possible autoimmune disease, endocrine issues, and then oxygen carrying capacity. It's important to understand these factors in, in order to um, manage patients who have issues with infertility. Remember, it's not just a female component, right? It's also the male component when it comes to infertility. You have to address both. Uh, don't just blame it on the female portion. So um, take a good look. My name is Dr. Jin Sen, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. So we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side.